So as I just mentioned, the tornado siren is going to sound countywide here in Madison County. But I want to reassure you, the threat is in southeastern parts of Madison County. Could threaten Hampton Cove, Owens Crossroads, those areas here over the next 30 minutes with large hail. And perhaps if that tornado tracks a little farther north, that tornado. But once again, we've got a handful of storms here. Multiple storms coming out of Mississippi. This is not going to get any better over the next 30 to minutes to two or three hours. This is a very prolonged event. A tornado outbreak is in progress now across North Alabama. We have northeast of Coleman tornado on the ground. All indications are it's still on the ground. This is going to track to the east and northeast towards Arab. So once again, Arab seek shelter immediately for a possible imminent tornado. We have a tornado emergency southwest of Russellville. Probably going to see perhaps golf ball to baseball size hail south of Russellville towards Phil Campbell. Uh, same story there with golf ball to perhaps baseball size hail in northern Marshall County as these storms continue to intensify. So we have three areas of significant concern. One is over Florence. You need to be staying in your shelter for at least 10 to 15 more minutes. Be prepared to go outside after you've been in your shelter and you're without power to have power lines down and significant damage around your home. Be very careful. Do not touch any live power lines. Always assume they are live because we have significant damage capability with all of these storms. A significant tornado could be developing here in parts of near Hodges towards Bear Creek and Phil Campbell. This storm eventually tracking towards Moulton. So let me put this uh, storm track here and then we'll get back into Marshall County. Possible tornado along Highway 43 southeast of Phil Campbell moving east northeast and we're going to put the speed uh, at a very again a very dangerous day here you need to take all these warnings with extreme caution and make sure you're getting to your safe place as quickly and as safely as you possibly can uh, go back to live Doppler 48 radar I have this possible tornado uh, at this time if there is a tornado on the ground a large tornado a wedge tornado now high confidence wedge tornado on the ground approaching Franklin County again life-threatening situation that coming from the National Weather Service office out of Huntsville this is going to be in Moulton at 357 if you're in Moulton get out of your mobile home find adequate shelter this storm is going to come barreling through with very large hail up to baseball size hail and a significant tornado. We're probably going to start to see debris falling out ahead of this between Moulton and Russellville uh, within this thunderstorm as it tracks east and northeast at speeds approaching 60 miles per hour. Uh, I'm going to take this uh, storm over here out 140 minutes. This one appears to uh, continue to move north and east. This will eventually take it into the Huntsville metro area. Uh, Molten 357, Hillsboro 407, and there's a lot of uncertainty when you go out this far with a tornado track, but I just want to make sure everyone has the warning needed because this is a day when all the warning information you can get could save lives. Trinity 411, Basham 411, 416 indicator. Tornado continues to look significant on radar, a large wedge type tornado on the ground approaching Phil Campbell along Highway 43. It'll move through Moulton, Decatur, perhaps along 565. So it's moving through. It has the potential to move through a, a heavily populated area here as it reaches the metro area. Other places, let's go to uh, start at Decatur here. Tanner 420, Athens 422, Greenbrier 424, Triana 426, Huntsville International Airport 426, Madison 4. 29. Coleman Marshall and Morgan County, a possible tornado developing in a storm near Fairview, seven miles east of Coleman, moving northeast at 65 miles an hour. So what we're doing on live Doppler 48 radar, I've taken it in instead of looking at what we call the 75 mile radius. As I go in closer, we actually can get more information from our live radar at what's really going on with these storms. So you're going to see some of these colors change. But it's very critical at this hour with as many storms as we have to get as much information as we can out of these storms. So again, a possible another possible tornado uh, moving towards Arab. We can clearly see back here north of Moulton where we have the tornado. And this is going to be Highway 33 and Highway 157, where those intersect just north of Moulton. That's where the tornado is. So let me track this tornado. It's going to move on to the west side of Decatur. Right here, moving east, northeast. We're going to put that at 61 miles an hour. Trinity 415, Decatur 420, Tanner 424, Greenbrier 429, 
Huntsville International Airport, that area, if it turns more to the right, around 432, and this storm eventually headed to Madison, Monrovia. Areas hit hard earlier, still uh, some power outages reported in those areas. So if you may want to give somebody a call, let them know, give them a heads up that uh, may have a tornado moving through Decatur and on the way into western parts of Madison County by about 430 this afternoon. This is a dangerous storm with a history of damage. Not, We've had a lot. Um, just a lot of lightning and okay, we need to take the alpha cam full. We've got the tornado here on our limestone alpha. I'm sorry, Elizabeth. We've got it. The tornado is on our alpha camera. We're getting power flashes in here as well. Wow. So we have a large wedge tornado on our alpha camera moving directly towards the camera. Look at the bottom of the screen. We've got power flashes going on within this storm. This is a massive tornado headed across Highway 72. Again, this may be the last few images we see of this tornado. It's going right towards our camera and it's going right towards our dot. Let's go back full, full. please. Yeah, please. Full. Please go back full. Wow. There you go. That's the tornado. It is ripping through homes right there. As we take a look at the bottom of the base, this car is driving right into it. Mm, mm, mm. Man, it's moving fast. It is. This is barreling through. This is moving at 60 to 65 miles an hour. Wind is only out of the east at three miles an hour here. And it looks like we may it's have lost frozen. video. It's freezing. Mm -hmm. What so, is the cross section right there? Where is it? 72 and what? Uh, this is 72 at French's Mill. French's Mill. This is uh, about uh, six miles or so west of County Line Road. Oh, and it looks like we may have, we haven't lost our radar, but we've lost yeah. the picture out of there. So we may have somehow lost the power to the camera. Again, that's the last image there of that tornado. It's crossing Highway 72 now. Huge. I'm going to relay to the weather service real quick. That is huge. Yeah, this is a huge tornado. Wow. Mm -mm. The wind out ahead of it might have uh, done something to our camera. Is that what yeah, it's possible. What, whatever's giving us our internet connection out there, because yeah. we're hooked to a phone line with our radar, but I believe it's an internet connection, may have taken that, taken that out. Uh -oh. Wow. And, and now where is our this radar's headed? out. So it looks like a direct hit on our radar towards Harvest and Monrovia. I mean, to get in here street level, again, you need to be in your shelter. Getting in closer. You see our radar no longer turning out there. We've taken a direct hit. This is moving towards Sparkman High School, yeah. Legacy Elementary School, Endeavor Elementary School. This track here. Very heavily populated area out here in northwest Madison County. Moving at speeds, we're going to put that at 60 miles an hour. Again, the last image we saw, significant tornado. About, I'd say that was about a half a mile wide oh, tornado there. My God. Barreling. Parts of it without power. Monrovia Entire without power city. as well. Mount Zion, uh, uh, it's, this is headed our way. They're, 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 Capshaw, 436. Wow. Clarkdale, 438. Clutzville, 440, Harvest Elementary, 440, Monrovia, 441, Monrovia Middle School. This is going to do a half a mile wide damage path as it moves east, northeast. And as we get in closer, some direct areas impacted are going to be areas along Jeff Road, Nick Davis Road, Douglas Road, out towards the Phillips Park out there, Capshaw Road. We've got Old Railroad Bed Road, all of these areas under extreme danger right now for a large wedge tornado. Damage now to homes, roofs blown off of homes across parts of eastern Limestone County, western Madison County, and that is what we are expecting to happen in and around Hazel Green and Meridianville. So you need to be seeking shelter. Looks like it's going to be on uh, Countess Road, those areas up there. Uh, you got Butter and Egg Road up there as well. Uh, just a devastating tornado up here in parts of the area and then information is going to be slow to come. If you're trying to reach loved ones, it's possible that some cell towers have been knocked down as well. So no need to panic immediately. If uh, someone you're trying to reach, you can't get a hold of them yet because of the fact that everyone, a lot of most people are on cell phone towers. They could have been taken out and we continue near yeah. Moulton. We got all southwest of Decatur. We just continue to see round after round. So be seeking shelter in Decatur again for a possible tornado all Up upwards on. of 60 miles per hour. So where we have these black areas, these polygons, that is where we have the tornado warning. So from the northeast, just northeast of Russellville near Moulton, 
possible tornado there, as you saw on, on next red Doppler radar, also through Decatur and then in the northern part of Madison County and then over here towards Scottsboro. So now that we've run down all the warnings and just about every warning we have is a tornado warning. Let's go back to next rad Doppler radar and we're going to get in and show you a little bit more information on these storms as we see the storms now. Here's the one near Moulton. This one's producing possible damage now, and I say possible because we're not getting any reports as of right now from some of these areas. In fact, I need to step off the screen here. These TV monitors have gone out on me over here, so if you guys can get those working up, I can actually have a little bit better view of what's going on here. Uh, Scottsboro, you need to be seeking shelter. A dangerous storm there. What we're seeing over time is we're starting to see uh, these storms spreading out, getting much more space between them. Jeff, you got Brett, something uh, We do have oh, a report. got a tornado confirmed at I-565 and 65. That is going to take it just to the east of from the east of Decatur towards Madison. And that may, may be one of the reasons that our alpha camera here at Decatur is down because there may be significant power outages going on in that area as well. So you're just going to have to bear with us on these storms. We've got a number of storms we're tracking. We have a number of problems with these storms. They're producing widespread power outages, destruction as they track east northeast. So Greenbrier at 459. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if the tornado is there as we speak. Huntsville International Airport 503. This red line is basically right along 565. So while the last tornado we were tracking has now moved to the north and is threatening Meridianville, Hazel Green, you need to stay in your shelter there. This is a second tornado warning. And there's another tornado back here to the west towards Moulton. In Moulton, you need to stay in your shelter. Trinity, stay in your shelter. This is an extremely active day of violent weather. Uh, Madison, 506. Huntsville, 516. Chase around 519. So if you are in the area along Highway 72 and to the south in the city of Madison and into uh, Huntsville towards Madison Square Mall, those areas there, this tornado is going to bear down on Madison and we're going to see the possibility of significant damage with this storm. All these red circles, this is what the computer at the radar is zooming in on this area and saying, this is the area where the rotation is the strongest, and that's where we have a confirmed tornado. So tornado. We need to start getting people. Uh, Jeff and uh, Brian and I will stay here and track this storm until it gets too close, but we need to get people into the storm shelter here at Channel 48. You need to be getting there as we speak. We've got a tornado on the ground, could be hitting our TV station here in about 10 to 15 minutes. So we need to get people into the storm shelters here at channel 48. Again, if you if people in the newsroom need to be getting in to the storm shelter here at channel 48. We have a confirmed tornado on the ground doing damage uh, moving into West Huntsville now after moving through uh, the city of Madison. It's going to be